we don't have electricity, we don't have, have free water, and then we're supposed to pay a, a water. If you go to those communities to where this project is going to take place, you see poverty written all over in the face of a child outside the, uh, 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 the shack them, in the face of a father working in the farm there, in the face of a mother working as a domestic worker, in the face of a child walking to school, in the face of a young person who has got nothing to do. We all agree that there is urbanization, high uh, percentage of urbanization, and there's going to be an urbanization explosion. One of the interventions that we made was to make a call uh, for, the, for the private sector to join partnership with uh, the Department of Human Settlement, with government, uh, with the view to opening up, opening up the economy of our department to investors. It was hand in glove because they were looking for land, we had the land, we were looking for a, a big brother to work with and they became the big brother. So we, we work together in, the, in, 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 in that space. The Premier's, Mr. David Makura's um, uh, uh, call to create this mega project and to go west uh, to, to do so was ba based on a couple of uh, uh, factors. Number one is that the, these were depressed mining towns and that obviously could do with the revitalization of economy. Number two was that the uh, number of pieces of large tracts of land were, were uh, basically available and the infrastructure was, uh, was already there. And so therefore the Western made a whole lot of sense uh, for the expansion of, uh, of the uh, Hauteng and Johannesburg. In this kind of arrangement of the mega project, a developer stands up and come to government and say, I've got land for development, let's partner and ensure that we house your people. For me, that's the Tumamina spirit that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa always. So don't, don't ask what your country can do for you. Stand up and say, I will do this for my country. At the first State of the Nation address, I called on all South Africans and I said, I want to be the first to be sent. Send me. And many South Africans embraced this concept. Then Krumen made sense to me because, remember, Ranfontein and all those things are mining areas. Then Krumen was a miner. Besides the fact that he was a communist, he does not come from Ranfontein. He comes from the Free State, but a miner, prolific intellectual. So Den Tlume Mega Project consists of over 22,000 residential units of various typologies, some houses, some walk-up units and flats, as well as flisps and affordable housing, gap housing and bonded housing and so on. But it also includes a number of, of various amenities like 13 schools, 90,000 square meters of retail, uh, all the normal facilities like churches, clinics, a hospital, uh, as well as the added bonus which is our proprietary uh, development model called RDP 2.0 which is we are going to be having a, an industrial park we're going to have the urban farming which is going to be done by the re residents for the residents uh, we are also going to have a 20,000 uh, seat multi-purpose soccer stadium uh, also the high performance training center and sports village and further to that, we have included a number of uh, renewable and digital services. So for argument's sake, a 10 megawatt solar farm, uh, grey water and effluent treatment, uh, the rainwater harvesting, uh, as well as things like fiber data and ICT and connectivity, internet of things. And in order to empower people, we have also made sure that we have included uh, things like the blockchain with a digital trust, enabling people to trade directly between each other and, and do the economic activities. So your peer-to-peer -peer, uh, 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 trading, as well as the 
Uh, we are including the online education, which I've, I personally believe education forms a big part of this. And the online education and economic platform is exactly going to do that. It's going to give people an opportunity, whoever wants to do so, to be able to grow and further their, their learning. And we are going to be providing formal as well as informal education for this. It's going to have 10 primary schools and 3 high schools. So it has for everything we do in one. What is also beautiful is to go back to the roots where people can then even as they walk they come across a tree, a fruit tree, they take a fruit, they eat, they continue. By trying to address issues of uh, poverty, we also are trying to inculcate a sense of responsibility on the people to look after those very fruit trees because they are beneficial to them, they are beneficial to their families and so on. So my question is one, MMC. Yes. Currently, I mean, I'm doing construction and then I have applied for civil engineering. Wow. And then I'm in grade one, both of them. So I want to know, Ray, how then come is it going to take me from one grade to the other? A house has five doors, minimum. So where do you get source that those 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 doors? You must source them from the very industry, industrial park where we are going to 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 be established. So with the Dan Koma Mega City project, our full intention is to grow the community into prosperity. That is very important that we manufacture on that site. We're using materials that come in as raw materials and they go out as valuable products. Whoever is going to be part of this project, then our promise to him is that this project will be running smooth. There will be no toy train, there will be no disruption, there will be nothing. There will be no time paying, uh, actually paying to this project. That opportunity that comes from Ben Tome can change your future. And let's protect this legacy, m making sure that when it ends, our life must not remain the same.